Welcome back to your next Wild Weekend. Throughout the show, we've been scouting the activities in Marquette, Michigan. It's certainly a beautiful sight in the summertime, but also a beautiful sight in the wintertime as well. Marquette hosts the UP 200 sled dog race. This race starts in downtown Marquette and continues along the Superior shoreline to Grand Marais, Michigan, and then back. It is a true test for the mushers and their dogs. It is also a precursor and qualifier to the most prestigious dog sled race of all, the Iditarod. We traveled to Newberry, Michigan, and met up with some local sled dog racers that participate in both of these events to see what they do during the dog days of summer to prepare for their winter racing schedule. And this is my 36 boys. They'll start August 1st with me, trying out for the Iditarod team. Of these guys, I'll narrow it down to 16 by the first Saturday in March. Um, some favorites already, Othello. He's just a spaz. He never tires, always eats, always sleeps when he's supposed to. Just a pulling machine. Ed Steelstra and his wife have been professional sled dog mushers for only a few short years, but have already gained acclaim for their efforts by having top finishes in local regional races and having finished twice in the Iditarod sled dog race. This success brings curious travelers by nature's kennel to see what all the excitement is about. If you guys want to come on back, I can show you a simulated Iditarod checkpoint. Do you guys know what the Iditarod is? Okay. So at a checkpoint that had a tent, if there's room in the tent, this is very similar to what we would have. And last year there were 79 teams, so if you can imagine if 79 mushers were in one spot, this is what we'd be working with. They'd have a little stove set up that the checkers and that could cook their meals on while they're waiting for us. They have satellite communication that we can't use, but it's to provide all the info to Iditarod.com. You guys want to try this on? It doesn't stink too bad. Okay. You could be a musher for a day. You'd put your hood up if it was windy like this. <laughs> It'd keep you warm. Maybe you'll see where you're going, though. <laughs> <laughs> and while tours of tents and sleds are interesting, the main draw has to be, well, puppies. The summers will consist of we want it six to seven litters, which usually works out 30 to 40 puppies. And so we'll have the dogs bred ideally early spring. The puppies come in the summer. And then it's just a ton of hands-on, walking, raising, getting them used to our voice, getting them used to us, and us getting used to them. It's a fun time of age right now. You're starting to see some of their play come out. And this is where we can actually even start seeing it's not always a true telltale sign, but who's the who are the athletes? Are these your children? Yeah, they're my kids. They're my kids. What I'll do in the summer is I get to spend time with all 100 of them. But as of August 1st, I focus on 30. And then by December 1st, I'm just strictly working with about 16 to 20. So, and that's what I do day in and day out. When I sleep, I dream of them. When I'm awake, I'm with them. Now stay tuned for future episodes of Wild Weekends because we'll follow some of the Steelstra's winter races and show you how you too can take your own sled dog winter camping trip. For more information, check out naturescennel.com.